Today on Blistered Burgers, I'm going to be cooking up a hamburger that was inspired by the Fire Door restaurant in Australia. Let's get going. So this is not a copycat. It was just inspired by Fire Door's menu and the chef and owner of the restaurant, Lennox Hasty, is a rock star. I'd love to go to that restaurant. So we're going to kick this off with a spread that I'm going to be using on the buns and actually on the burger as well. I have here some softened butter and it's softened to the point where it's close to melted but not separated. And to the butter I'm going to add some beef tallow and the ratio is about two-thirds butter, one-third beef tallow. Easy stuff. Now I'm going to form that patty. I have eight ounces of ground 80-20 beef. This is Chuck. Stainless steel. To me, this is a burger ring, but I think they're sold for pastries. <laughs> and there we are. So I'm just going to season this simply with some kosher salt. Some fresh ground black pepper. And I'll get the other side once it's on the grill. So this burger is going to have one, maybe two big onion rings. So we're going to bread these right now just so they're ready. And so, you know, I know there's a lot of ingredients here. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to be making a couple more burgers. So I just, if you make videos, you get it. I just want to get the video out of the way first. So I have here some all-purpose flour. I'm going to just dredge this onion ring in this flour. I have here some milk. This and some Italian-style breadcrumbs. And here we are. Just going to allow these to set until I'm ready to fry these up using brioche buns today and I'm going to go ahead and get these prepped spread that wagyu tallow butter on the buns on both sides going edge to edge all right it's time to have some fun and start cooking now and for this cook I'm using my new Santa Maria grill from Sentara Pro I'm going to kick this off with it's one slice cut in half of some really thick, this is quarter inch thick bacon here. Now we're also gonna hit the grill with, this is a half of a whole head of romaine. So for this burger, I'm cooking over walnut. We're doing live fire. Put those buns down here. All right, this romaine is done. You can see it, I wanted to get a char on one side right now. Chop this up. Feels nice and warm. <laughs> Get this into a bowl. Add a little extra virgin olive oil. A little salt. A little pepper. Some lemon zest. Some finely grated Parmesan cheese. And we're good. Bacon's looking good. Let's go ahead and turn it the other way here, get some, a little bit more toastiness on the entire strip. Bun looks good. Set it off to the cooler side of the grill here. Nice. All right, bacon's looking good. Set it off on the cooler side. I 
I'm saying cooler side, but it's warm over there. It's going to keep everything nice and warm. So I have some melted beef tallow here. It's running at about, I don't know, 325, 330 or so. Fry those onion rings. There we go. Beautiful. So onion rings, I'm just gonna put them over here with the buns and the bacon, just keep them warm. It's time for that patty to go down. Salt. Fresh ground pepper. blob of that tallow butter, that wagyu butter. Two thin slices of provolone. Ha. Burger's almost done. We're gonna start prepping this thing. Charred romaine salad on here. Set patty down. The grilled bacon. Onion rings. Crown it with the Wagyu butter toasted brioche bun. There we are. I'm going to call this, I think, the live fire burger. This thing's gorgeous. All right, let's cut this in half. There we go. Medium. Perfect. It's nice and juicy. It smells amazing. Mmm. I will tell you what, I would not change a thing. This is a perfect burger. I mean, it, this is making my favorite list that I have, the playlist, is good. Soft brioche bun, biting into it. On that upper layer, you're getting that fried, you know, onion ring flavor with that crazy crunch. Then at the same time, you're getting that really fresh, crisp, but with a char flavor on that lettuce. And it's so bright with that, that zest, that lemon zest hitting you. I've never had a burger that flavors like this. There's almost kind of a Greek vibe going on here with the flavors. Mm. That thick cut bacon isn't cheap, but boy, oh boy, it has such a, Great flavor. Mm, gosh. What can I say? I'm stoked. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ring that notification bell and thumb up the video if you like it. I hope you did. See you on the next video. Cheers.